Hi, it's Jeffrey. It's ripe color. And this is the uh, lunar eclipse reading. It's on the 26th, 27th. You know, I, you're not going to get specifics from me. I don't know what degree it's in. I know it's in Sag, you know, like a Sag Gemini eclipse. Okay, now before I begin, I just, um, what I'm getting is hold on to your hats. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, I've been aware of this energy for a really long time, actually, for a couple of years already, of um, none of us really know what's going to be, what's not going to be. And if you, uh, your center has to be in yourself. Your center has to be in yourself. Because I think we're going to be in the next month, to the next couple of months, it's going to be a lot going on, a lot going on in the world, a lot going on in terms of um, the vaccine, in terms of, uh, you know, how the other, the rest of the world is dealing or not dealing with the pandemic. I think there's going to be a lot of earth changes, you know, i.e. earthquakes, floods, fires, uh, climate change, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of political upheaval. I mean, we, we're, there already is a lot of political upheaval. And um, I think it's just actually it's almost like, uh, you know, your neighbor's having a party and it's a little loud and you go down and knock on the door and say, you know, it's a little loud. And the volume goes up. <laughs> Might be a little bit like that. And more people come to the party, you know? And so it's like, if I mind my own business in my apartment, um, and not get into, oh, well, they're having a party and <laughs> eventually the party will end. Eventually the party will end and everybody will be able to get a good night's sleep. But it's not going to be over until it's over. So I'm, so expect a party above or below or next door to you. You know, kind of a loud party. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to go join them. It doesn't mean that you have to fix it or you have to, you know, I think the point I'm getting to is like sometimes it's very easy to get overwhelmed by what's going on in the outside world. And I think, I feel, I don't like think, I feel that the way to get through it is to really kind of be by yourself, hug yourself, you know, take care of yourself, take care of the people around you, you know, and, um, these outside influences, you know, just like sort of be in a, in a long-term meditation and let the clouds pass, just let them pass until it becomes clear again and you have your wits about you. Um, so, you know, we live in a world where anything can happen anywhere at any time. That's, you know, it's not like, well, you know, this is gonna be like that and that's gonna be like that and I can rely on that. That's done. That's done. So you're going to have it. So it, prepare yourself. And like the center that you have, I would recommend. I My center is in my heart. That's where my center is. It's not in what my job is, how much money I have, who likes me, who doesn't like me. You know, it's not in all that stuff, or I'm relying on this, or I, I, you know, I know this is definitely going to come through. That's my first to do. Okay. Now let's see what's going on for the eclipse. Oh, it's a, so what's it called? A blood flower moon. So I'm wearing my red ish. I have a red t-shirt somewhere. I think. I like, not red, red, red. I like like an orangey tomato red. I like pink a lot. 
I like purple, I like orange, but like a, like a red, it's like a little too much for me to wear. Okay. But if that's your color and that's the color you wanna wear, then you should be wearing it. Okay. So let's see what's going on for the eclipse. This is sort of the eclipse card. There are a few cards that I always see as the eclipse cards. Okay. So I'm getting this whole pause and reflect, right? Because both of these are, this is really pause. This is really like stop, sit, watch, see things from a different angle. Um, this is also meditation, pause, calming one's thoughts, right? And you know, it's a four, and um, a rest, like a mental rest. And then you get the creative, like knowledge of creativity. So maybe this pause, you know, like sit and honor that there's, you know, something special going on with astrology, with the moon, you know, it's worldwide, it's a lunar eclipse. Um, and maybe sit and think about what you're passionate about meditate and see in a different way what are you passionate about what do you want to create in the world how, what do you know how to create because this is knowledge what do you know how to create right and now i'm going to throw some more because it's an eclipse and you know whatever i put on the scarf i might as well do something with it right uh, king of two kings great oh very interesting okay so sit and contemplate and ponder. And you know, this also, he also is getting messages, this guy. I know I'm focusing a lot on the cards today. You can't see my pretty face, but it's still me. I'm still here. Okay. Um, you know, he goes into other realms. He puts himself, he, sac he sacrifices himself on the tree. It's not like he's killing himself, but he sacrifices himself on the tree in order to gain knowledge, in order to gain a uh, spiritual knowledge. And like I, I spoke about before, this is about how am I creative? How am I, what's my, what am I passionate about? And then we get two cups. Um, and how does this relate to uh, the relationships I have with others? How does this relate to my being a negotiator? How does this relate to my, um, uh, offering my heart, uh, offering kindness, offering healing? How does, is there a creative way that I can be more, um, more loving, more giving, more, uh, understanding? Because both of these have that energy about them. And once I kind of, so if this is a higher knowledge, I think this is really higher knowledge of one's own emotions. This, you know, I did a, a reading for a Tuesday just now. I put on the scarf, which is um, the 25th. And, uh, it was a similar message. It's like, I think you have to sit. I think it's about sitting and thinking and contemplating. How have I um, been in relation with others? How, like, you know, going back to what I said initially. So, you know, you know, if, if some craziness is going on somewhere in the world, and there's nothing I can really do about it, 
Um, I'm not going to put all my energy and effort and upset into something that I, I kind of have no power over. Um, if I keep it close to home, how can I extend myself more to the people around me? How can I offer help, healing, love, etc., to the people closest to me? Because that I do have really have an influence on. That I really do have an, an influence on, a more profound influence. I'm not saying that, you know, I sit and meditate, you know, for the world every day, and I send love out to the entire world every day. But um, it's almost like, uh, in a way, like an earthquake. I don't know how else to say it. So if there's an earthquake somewhere on Earth, right? Let's say it's uh, in the middle. I, well, I don't want to. Wherever it is, okay. If there's an earthquake somewhere. The closer you are to the earthquake, the more you're going to feel it. But that doesn't mean on the other side of the world they don't feel it because they do, even though they don't. You know, they can measure it. So if you're the earthquake, say, I know it's a weird metaphor. The ones who are going to feel it most are the ones who are closest to you. Your friends, your family, your neighbors, the people you work with, the people in your city, the people in your um, state, country. So that's who to uh, concentrate on. Um, I guess the delivery person's here. And it's a higher knowledge. It's a higher knowledge. That's what this is really about. And not only that, but this one, um, he knows how to bring that higher knowledge. It's as below, uh, as above, so below. So he, he understands and he has the, the um, mm, talent to bring that higher knowledge and disseminate it down into earth, right? So maybe this is about, for me, this what this is gonna be about is sitting and contemplating and sending my love up to God and the angels and the earth, which I do every day, taking it in. And the, the love that I receive from God and the angels and the earth, spreading it out. That's what it's about for me. That's generally what it's about for me, but kind of more in, in a more, um, in a higher dosage, right? In a more concentrated form. So that is my take for the eclipse. That is my take for the eclipse. And I'm going to give you a little other thing that I do. I don't do it all the time, but I do it, I do it at least once a week. I think of the earth, I think of the world. And then I sort of, in a way, scan. You don't have to know, I mean, I'm really good at geography because I, I don't know, for some reason, I really like geography. I like to know where everything is, you know, and I know, like to know where I am in relation to it. Um, you know, scan the globe. And I think it's important also to like, okay, it's like, well, we know there's a, an issue in this country or that country. Okay, fine. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just scan the globe and wherever you're, mind goes and wherever your feelings go you know it's like i don't even know what this is it's a peninsula and this and this um continent and it's near or far away from the equator or whatever or an island or uh, a mountain chain or a lake or whatever it is city that just kind of pops in send love send love send healing if it's some city that's doing fantastic and everything is perfect and they get extra love, so they get extra love. You know, it's not like, oh, I'm going to make a mistake. You know, oh no, this place needs it. We don't really know what place needs it, but they do. So be a vessel. That's my take. Anyway, enjoy the eclipse. And if you could see it, have fun because I always want to see them and it just never works out. In any case, um, that's that. Enjoy the eclipse and um, hang on to your hats. And, uh, you know, I guess what I, I guess it's kind of like charity begins at home. Right? So take care of you and the people around you in a more profound way.
for no return, right? Be good for nothing, right? Oh, well, you know, I gave you this, and so now you owe me that money. That doesn't um, really work. Blessings. <laughs>